Hello there, Battlefront fans. I know why you've come. You want to experience the best that Battlefront 2 has to offer on Kyber.gg with the coolest mods the community has to offer across the holonet. But you don't know how, it doesn't look easy, and you don't have all day to figure it out. That's where I come in. I'm here because I need more people to play with. I recognize guides already exist on this topic, but I wanted to make one that was fast, clear, and as easy to follow as possible to make modded multiplayer Battlefront an accessible reality to all. Last thing before we begin is I've made this guide for all users, beginner or experienced. If at any point I'm covering a topic you're already familiar with, refer to the chapters below to skip what you already know and navigate to what you need. Without further delay, here's a list of everything you're going to need. A PC, the Kyber Client, a copy of Star Wars Battlefront 2, Frosty Mod Manager, the Frosty Mod Manager Gameplay Merger and String Merger plugins. And lastly, the Battlefront Plus Mod Pack, or whatever mods you're running nowadays when you watch this video. To begin, let's hover to Kyber.gg and click Download Kyber, where the Kyber developers even left instructions on exactly what to do. Click Download again and put that somewhere you can find it. If all you want to do is play private matches on Kyber.gg with no mods attached, you're ready to go. Run the Kyber client, head back over to Kyber.gg, select an unmodded match of your choosing, click yes, launch your game, and congratulations my friend, you have entered a private match. But I know most of you are here for Battlefront Plus or other modded content, so we press on. If you don't have WinRAR or some other file extraction software available, you'll need to download that at this time. If you need it, follow the link in the description below to this page and download the appropriate version for your operating system. If you're on Windows, that's likely going to be one of these two. Download your version and put that somewhere you can find it. Double click to run the installer and you can leave the settings on default for the install. Next, download Frosty Mod Manager from the link provided below and put that somewhere you can find it. Now we'll extract these files using WinRAR. Right click the RAR file and select Extract a Frosty Mod Manager and this should create a folder of the same name with the contents already inside. I recommend always using this method for extracting files as it helps keep everything in one place and organized. You can also delete the RAR file now if you so choose. Open up the folder and find the Frosty Mod Manager executable file. This will be how you launch the game from now on so make sure you put this somewhere you can find it. Right click to run as administrator and click yes. Now you'll be prompted to help Frosty find the game you wish to modify. If it doesn't look like this, click Scan for Games until Star Wars Battlefront 2 shows up. Click it, then click Select. The first time you launch this might take a couple of minutes, but thankfully all subsequent launches should be instantaneous. Now before we modify Star Wars Battlefront 2, we need to modify the Mod Manager to accommodate some of the more complex mods. Close the Mod Manager for now, then open up the Plugins folder and just set it to the side for right now. Then head over to the Nexus mod pages where you'll need to create an account if you haven't already and download the Gameplay Handler and Merger as well as the Frosty Localization Editor. Head over to Files, then click Manual Download, Slow Download unless you paid for Premium, Save and put that somewhere you can find it. Same drill on the Frosty Localization Editor, but pay attention because you don't actually want the editor as the mod author has indicated. That file is for mod makers. We want the string merger, the second file on the page, so click Manual Download and put that somewhere you can find it. Now it's the same extraction method as before, but this time we select each archive to separate folder because we have multiple files. Now for simplicity, we'll go ahead and drag this window next to the plugins folder we had open before. Open up the string merger and simply drag and drop into the plugins folder. Click replace and repeat the process again for the gameplay merger handler. Go ahead and run Frosty Mod Manager again and you're ready to install mods. To join a modded server on kyber.gg, your load order will have to match that of the server host. When you join a modded server, you'll be prompted with a list of the mods the host is requiring for you to play with them. Your load order must match that of the host exactly or you'll be rejected from joining. This is what makes modded multiplayer possible, as it ensures everybody on the same server is running the same mod list. And to that end, Battlefront Plus is a popular mod list that I highly recommend. It includes new heroes, reinforcements, trooper weapons, and other reworks. Also included in this mod pack is the near mandatory Instant Online Improvements mod, which among other improvements helps the bots function properly, as well as unlock all trooper and hero unlockables. Installation is far easier than you might think, which is what I'm here to show you. Download the Battlefront Plus mod pack and put it somewhere you can find it. There are two methods to installing the mod pack. 
One will instantaneously have you ready to jump into a Battlefront Plus server hassle-free. The second method takes a few minutes, but I would recommend checking it out if you want to run multiple modless containing Battlefront Plus. If you're ready to jump into Battlefront Plus with no further delay, all you have to do is open up Frosty Mod Manager, go to File, Pack, Import, select the Battlefront Plus Mod Pack, and select Open. This should import as a mod list already in the correct load order and ready to roll. If you have any cosmetic mods you want to add, you'll need to put them at the top of your load order at this time. Once you've downloaded them off the Nexus, you can import them by dragging and dropping them directly into the Mod Manager. Double click each file to apply them to your current mod list, and you place them at the top of your load order by selecting them from the list and using the arrows within the application. If you run a lot of cosmetics, you might want to consider method 2, unless you really really like that arrow button. However, before connecting to a server, I highly recommend you run the program at least once with the Kyber client closed. I also recommend this because the first time you run a mod list with Frosty, it will take a few minutes to set up. Also, you'll be prompted for permissions about halfway through, so just go ahead and click yes. If you've made it to this screen, it means you did everything properly, and the IOI improvement mod is actually ensuring you don't accidentally ban yourself by blocking your connection to EA servers. It's time to close your game one last time, run the Kyber client, and you're officially ready to join or host any Battlefront 2 server on Kyber. Now for the customized experience. If you're looking to customize mod lists of your own, or for any other reason method 1 isn't for you, observe method 2. Create a list by clicking the plus sign within the Frosty application. Choose a name and load up your cosmetic mods. These are of course hero skins, audio overhauls, or retextures, anything that does not affect the core vanilla gameplay. And make sure you pay attention to any instructions the mod authors have left on the page for you. Once you've added your cosmetic mods, you're ready to add your gameplay mods underneath. That's any mod that adds a new mechanic, character, or weapon to the game. In this case, that's the Battlefront Plus mod pack. Import it just as before. If it creates a list for you, just ignore it and switch back to your own. The mods have imported in the correct load order, so now all you have to do is add them line by line by double clicking each one. Same ritual as last time, launch Frosty Mod Manager once just to make sure your load order took, answer the prompt in the middle, watch Frosty boot up for the first time, make sure the game loads in like this, and now you're ready to join any Battlefront Plus server you're able to find on kyber.gg. I hope you found this guide easy to follow, and I hope you'll actually download Battlefront Plus and give it a try. If this guide helped you experience the Battlefront beyond your wildest dreams, I hope you'll repay me by spreading the word of kyber.gg, the Battlefront Plus mod pack, and everything else the Battlefront 2 community has to offer. If you have any other questions about this video, I hope you leave them in the comments below, but until then, I'm Mr. Just a Guy, and I'll see you on the battlefront.